find me on Instagram and YouTube and lots of all the social media places under Kell of a Plan. Um, so that's where you can check out all my planning stuff. I love to teach people how to use their paper planners and I like to say pretty but practical ways. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking at how to make our planners, extra pages for our planners, pretty but practical. So we're going to be getting into that in just a minute. But before we get started, I just want to go over a few housekeeping things so that you know everything that's going on. Okay. So first off, we are on a Zoom call right now and there are kind of two features you need to know about one is the chat box in the chat box that's where you can talk to each other you can get to know each other you can just chit chat your little hearts out in the chat box i can see some of the chats pop up on my screen but for the most part i will not be able to see the chat because i'm going to be paying attention to what i'm making instead of what's going on in the chat so really use that chat feature to talk to each other and just chit chat and have fun if you have a specific question that you want me to answer or you want um, our Michaels representative, or our happy planner representative to answer. Be sure to put those questions in the Q&A box. So that's different from the chat. Chat is where you can talk to each other and have a good old time. If you have a specific question that you want an answer to, put it in the Q&A box. That is where our Michaels re representative can respond. If you have a question about product or our happy planner representative can respond. Um, and then some of the questions, if it's something that I need to answer, Deanna is our representative from the Happy Planner today, and you might hear her voice pop up later asking me questions. So if you hear a voice from above, her camera's not on, but it will be Deanna who can ask me those questions and I can verbally answer them. So again, use the chat feature to chit chat, use the Q&A box to ask specific questions that you want answers to. If you can't stay for the whole video, that is totally fine. Or if you hop on late, that's totally fine. This video will be up for replay on michaels.com slash classes on Tuesday. So if you want to rewatch it, or if you don't get to watch the whole thing, you can catch the replay there. Also, if you go to their website, michaels.com slash classes, if you scroll to the bottom, you can click the icon for paper and that is where they store all of the planner classes that have happened in the past so if you want to check out a class that maybe you've missed that's where you can find it and this course will be added to that section on tuesday okay so it takes about 24 48 hours for it to pop up just so you know a lot of the products i'm going to be using today is from the michael's fall reset from the happy planner that reset should be hitting your stores by friday the 18th some stores might be a couple days early, some stores might be a couple days late because it kind of varies based on location, but that is the goal set date. So you should start seeing things pop up in your Michaels store by Friday the 18th. Okay, we're going to go over the supplies that I'm going to be using in just a second. Um, but I also want to tell you guys that there are more planner classes coming, not this week, but next week. So the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, we will have more planner classes. Nita will be teaching one from Neatly Planned. Christine from Twinkle Plans Her Day will be teaching one. And Marielle from Mom and a Girl with Plans will be teaching one as well. Those will all be happening at noon central. So if you haven't signed up yet, be sure to find those on michaels.com. And I will remind you about those at the end of the class in case you forget you can go sign up um, I'll remind you at the end of the class as well so before we flip over just a reminder use the chat to chit chat with each other use the Q&A box to ask specific questions okay but now I'm gonna have our Michaels representative flip the camera over and I'm going to bring Heather, check your mic. Heather, check your okay, mic. Okay, guys, you can hear me now. We lost the yeah. audio because it kicked me out of my overhead phone. But now that I'm reconnected to my overhead phone, you should be able to hear me now. Um, but that's why it cut out. So let's start this video. Um, it says that it's disabled and I need you to approve me to turn on the video. Okay, there we go. Um, flip the camera around. Okay, so now I'm going to lower this. Someone asked, where did I get the stand? I saw that pop up. This is just an overhead stand that I ordered from Amazon. I don't know the exact name, but it clips to my desk. So I'm going to go over all the 
supplies that we're using today so that you know and if you have these items you can plan along with me and if not you can pick them up soon so this is a planner um, that is going to be part of the michaels reset and um it is a color block planner we're going to look at this more in a minute and then i also grabbed a happy notes this one was at michaels if your local store is sold out of this exact one they have tons of happy notes but we're, i love to keep these um just around my desk to pull out whenever i want to make a random page because these extra pages that i make for my planner i make them all the time and i usually will just pull them out from the happy notes so we're going to be using that some of the sticker books that we're going to be using today um this one is called all the fills it is part of the fall reset so it should be in your michael store by the 18th the minimalist book is also from the fall reset so we're going to be using this book we're going to be using this recipe book this book is already available at michael's if your local store is sold out of this book it is available on michaels.com i checked before the class so you you can grab that one there if your local store doesn't have it um this fall book is also part of the fall reset and then this budget book we're going to be using today this has also already released if your local store doesn't have it then you can again grab it on michaels.com i checked to make sure that it was still available and then we're also going to be using this live creatively book this book just released at michaels as part of stephanie's plan a happy life collection um i have planned four pages for us to design today that's why we're going to be using all of these books if we don't get to all four of the pages we may not use all of these books but if we get to all four then you will see me use all of these books for each page i will be sure to point out which books we are going to use um before we get started well let's just go ahead and start we're just gonna go ahead and jump in so this is a planner that is part of the fall um reset it is a color block planner and i went ahead and made a spread in it just to show you guys because this is typically what a normal week might look like in my planner and the the thing is that my planner fills up really fast and there's tons of other things i could put in my planner but i don't necessarily have room for it so like this is all the things that i would normally put in my planner for a week and if i want to extra things that i need to track there's no space for that but the great thing about a disk system is you can add pages to make space for what you need to plan. So that's where the happy notes come in. If you have not grabbed a happy notes notebook, you need to head to Michael's like today and grab whatever happy notes you can find because I love them. One reason I love them is they come with these um, dividers that aren't titled. And so I like to take one of these dividers and you can put it at the front of your planner or the back of your planner but i like to pop in a divider and for this tab right here i like to write other and this is where i store my extra pages in my other section you could also label it extra pages or whatever it is that you want to label it but i actually have one of these this is my actual planner that i'm using right now you can see i labeled it other and this is where i store other pages so like the, the extra pages that i make for my planner that i use i just made this one the other day using the fall book and i keep them in this other section of my planner and so it's things that i want to track that i may not write in my weekly spread so that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making pages that might go in the other section of your planner and i'm just going to be using pages from this happy notes but you can use any happy planner paper that you have you can get them from happy notes they also sell like expansion packs of notebook that's just all this kind of notebook paper so just head to michael's and you can check out the different paper that they offer both in notebooks and in paper packs i just love to have extra paper because you can make all kinds of pages with your extra paper so i'm going to go ahead and pull out four pages um this is the great thing about the disk system you can literally take these pages out of the notebook and then you can pop them into your planner when you're done so we're going to make four pages today if we have time for all of them what we're going to do is i'm going to make one page and then i'll answer any questions you have about that page deanna can ask me the questions after i make the page and then we'll go to the next page and so on um if, if we have time we'll get to all four if we don't have time it's fine we'll just do as many as we can so the first page that we're going to make we're going to be using the all the fills sticker book again this is from the fall reset so it should be in your michael store by friday um it might be a couple days early might be a couple days late just keep that in mind 
Um, but it is part of that fall reset and it's called all the fills. And we're going to be using this page today to make a self care tracker because self care is something that I really think we need to focus on. And, but it's not something that I necessarily want to put in my weekly planner every single week. So I'm going to make a self care tracker that I can pop in the other section of my planner so that it's something that I track but it's not necessarily like taking up space in my weekly planner. And I'm gonna be using this All The Fills sticker book to do that, okay? Now, the first thing I wanna do is I kind of wanna get um, like a sticker to, to make the header, okay? I always like to have like a cute header at the top. So this one says, you're doing amazing, which I think is a good sticker for a self-care tracker because it's always a good reminder um, to, remind yourself that you're doing great. Even though you might feel like you're not doing great, you're doing great, you're doing amazing. So then the next thing, I'm actually gonna write self-care tracker here. You could um, get like an alphabet sticker book and you could use the stickers to lay it out if you wanted to, but that's gonna take up more time. And so instead of doing that today, I'm just gonna use um, this mild liner highlighter. You can also get these in a pack at Michael's and I'm just going to write self-care at the top but if you're someone who's like I don't like my handwriting then you could easily just use like the alphabet sticker book so I'm just going to letter self-care so that I have a title on my page now I went ahead and marked these stickers because I thought these would be really good to track self-care for like a week or a month because it's one week and so this could be like maybe I make this for October a self-care October tracker let's just go ahead and say because September's already started maybe I just do this for October October tracker so then I could take, I'm actually going to take a different color because I don't want to put the purple. I'm going to take the blue to break up the colors a little bit, but I'm going to put this here. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one here. And then is this one going to fit here? It's going to be really close to the edge of the page, but that's okay. Off the top of my head, I have no idea if October has four weeks or five weeks in our planner. Depending on the date, sometimes it's five. But I'm just going to put this one, mm, maybe like this. And I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and put another one just so that it kind of evens it out some. Now, the great thing about this self-care tracker is I'm using a classic, Megan, I saw that. This is a classic. Um, the great thing about these trackers is you can track whatever you want in these because of the blanks. Now, if you look in this book, they do have a section where there are stickers that show you different things that you want to track that week. So maybe one week I want to focus my self-care on unplugging. Okay, so I unplug and then each day I can go in here and I can write how many hours I unplugged or how many, like I could just check it off or put like done or didn't do. So that may, and you could do this based on the week. So this maybe week one, I want to focus on unplugging. Maybe the next week I want to focus on being creative. So I could take this one that says be creative and I could put it in this box. And then I can come to this tracker and each day I could write how I was creative that day. Um, maybe the next week I wanna focus on exercise. So I put my exercise right here, okay? And then I can put each day what I did to exercise. Um, I could also do maybe walking one week. And then I could do maybe gratitude. Maybe because this is 
like each week and then this one is kind of an extra so you could just go in and just write on random days something you're grateful for so here you could write something you're grateful for here you could write how many how many steps you walked what you did to exercise and you could apply each of these to one week or what you could do is you could laminate this and then use a wet erase marker and use it week after week after week um so this is and now like since i'm kind of done with the bulk of this like this is the part that really matters this is where you can then take out other stickers and kind of decorate it just to make it cuter so i could see the space that is left and i could add in other stickers to decorate this page And again, you could you could assign each week one of these to track, or you could laminate it and track all of these every single week and just wipe it off at the end when you're done each week. So this is kind of, I'm gonna spend some time filling in the, the decorations, but if anyone has any questions about this page, Deanna, you can shout out the questions while I'm adding the decorations if you want. Okay, we have um, <clears throat> a couple of questions about a YouTube channel. I know you have an Instagram, channel or an Instagram, um, an Instagram I have a YouTube channel as well you can okay. find me on both Instagram and YouTube under Kell of a plan so Kell's my last name K-E-L-L -L, and you can look up Kell of a plan on both Instagram and YouTube my YouTube channel has thousands of videos and I saw someone ask in the comments it popped up on my screen can we see how to laminate it um, on my YouTube channel, I have a whole playlist on how to laminate pages for your planner. So I don't have my laminator for this video, but if that's something you're interested in laminating and reusing these pages, you can head to my YouTube channel and check out the laminated playlist. Okay, and then they want to know what your favorite sticker book is. It depends on what I'm doing. Like if I'm just decorating my planner, I tend to go towards florals i just love flowers in my planner um but if i'm doing something more functional then it would depend like here for this self-care tracker this book is really great but if i'm wanting to make something for a recipe tracker which we're going to do actually next then i would use a recipe book so it really depends on what it is that you're trying to make but if i'm decorating my normal planner then i t i personally tend to go towards flowers okay um where did it go okay so do you ever letter with a midliner fine tip side any tips for using that pen well um a mild the mild liner isn't necessarily meant for lettering um it's more of a highlighter sometimes i write with them but for the most part i would use a brush marker to letter and tips for lettering would take like a whole class mm -hmm. um so that would be a whole other topic <laughs> okay and maybe we need to have a class about that then uh, let's see there was another one about the pen oh yeah what pen are you using for your this was this this, this was a mild liner highlighter i don't actually recommend these if you're wanting to letter it's, it was just the easiest thing for me to grab um my favorite brush lettering are probably the Tombow foodie markers, which you can also get at Michael's. They look like this and you can get them in like a big pack. What kind of marker was that again? This sure is a, gonna... this is a Tombow, Tombow. Um, foodie. Food. This is, I don't know how to say the actual thing, but oh, Tombow yeah. told me that they nickname it to foodie. So, foodie. But, but they come in like a pack of like all the colors at Michael's if you go to their pen aisle. Okay, thank you. Um, do you keep all of your old planners? And if so, how do you store them? I do keep them all because I like to flip through them. Um, I like to see how far I've come and how my style has changed. And I personally just store them on a bookshelf on their discs. Okay. Do you erase your pens? And if so, how? Um, you would have to have an erasable pen in order to erase and I don't like erasable pens so I don't erase but there are erasable pens out there okay. what other self-care ideas do you do besides the ones on your page 
Um, I have several videos on my YouTube channel for self-care. I, 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 I'm not an expert at self-care. I really let, I think that the Happy Planner has done a really good job with their wellness and fitness sticker books. And so they have stickers that give you like all kinds of prompts and ideas for ways to do self-care. So like these stickers right here were really good like ideas. And so I usually just let their sticker books or their wellness journals kind of guide me in what it is that I should be tracking because I'm not an expert with self-care but it seems like whoever designed these sticker books really took time to like dive into different ways to do self-care and so I usually just let the stickers guide me okay that's a great answer all right so our next page that we're going to move on to is um I'm going to be making a meal planning page for my planner because and I did go ahead and put this page in that other section that I added to my disc because it's great. You can just pop them in. But if we look at my weekly spread, there's nowhere on here for me to meal plan. Now you can in your planner be very specific about saying like, this is where I'm going to meal plan or this is where I'm going to meal plan and designate that spot in your planner. But I don't usually do that. And so when I do take the time to meal plan, which I'm actually really bad about it, but when I do it, I always use stickers and I always make an extra page because, and then I can just pop it in either to my weekly page that week, or I can put it in my other section. And so that's what we're going to do today. And what I typically do with this is I actually would use a half sheet or I would just trim the paper down. So I'm just going to grab, this is a Fiskars uh, paper trimmer and I'm just going to cut the page and make it smaller. This way, when I do pop it into, if I wanna pop it into my weekly, it doesn't cover the whole week. You can see when I pop it in, it's just gonna take up part of it. They do, the Happy Planner does also sell half sheets. So you could just go ahead and purchase them cut. Um, but if you don't have any half sheets, you can also just cut them really fast for yourself. The two sticker books that we're gonna be using for this page is the new Minimalist book and the recipe book. This book released, um, I think a couple of months ago. If it's not in your local Michaels, it is still available on michaels.com. And then this one just came out. And so this will be part of the fall release. So it is, if it's not in your Michaels store yet, it will be any day now, hopefully by Friday, maybe a couple days before, maybe a couple days after. But this is a minimalist book. It matches the new minimalist collection that just came out. Um, and so I'm gonna be using these two books to show you guys just how to make a quick meal planning page to pop into your planner. So I went ahead and saved this page and I'm gonna use this pink sticker just cause I think it kind of coordinates pretty well with the stickers in the minimalist. But this one says weekly menu and you have every day of the week. So I can take this and I can just pop it right here on the page, okay? Now, this is something that you could also laminate. I mentioned laminating earlier, um, but you could laminate it and then use it over and over and over again. But if you wanted to use it for a specific week, that's fine too, because this sticker book has several of these weekly menu stickers. So it's like, they have tons, it could last you months. So you don't necessarily need to use it over and over, but you could if you wanted to. Um, and so this page is gonna be pretty quick. Like there's not gonna be a whole lot to it, but I literally would put the weekly menu on this side. And then on this side, I would just letter, let me see if I can grab a Tombow foodie pen to show y'all how I used it. We'll just use this gray one, um, but I could letter the week. So maybe I, I actually need to take time today to meal plan for next week. So maybe I just write next week's dates at the top. So I'm just gonna letter September. And then tomorrow is the 14th. So September 14th through the 20th. And then I could sit here and I could meal plan on this side, okay? And then on this side, I can take the minimalist book and I'm thinking I could use these stickers and lay them out on this page. Oh, kind of like this. Okay, and then 
I could label each section like a different part of the store. So like meat, maybe produce. and other. And then as I'm meal planning on this side, I plan out my meals. And then on this side, I flip over and I can write my grocery list. So like I can write this, I could plan Monday's meal and then flip over and write what I need from the store for Monday. Then I could plan Tuesday's meal and write what I need on the back. And then I can take this out of my planner and take it to the store with me or if you're someone who carries your planner around just flip to it and it's in your planner now the great thing i mentioned laminating it if you laminated it then you could just write the date every week and just plan it out and then wipe it off if you laminate it you have to use a wet erase marker don't use a dry erase marker because that'll get all over your planner um but this again was a super easy page to make i literally laid down four stickers but it's one that's gonna be super functional and super practical. And then if you wanted to make it pretty, you could go back to this recipe book and there are pages with like food stickers. So you could add in some food stickers just to make it cuter if you wanted to. Of course, you don't have to make it pretty, but like I said earlier, I like to make things pretty and practical. So I would be the person who adds in cute little stickers to make it pretty and practical. Okay, and so then you can grab your planner and you can pop it in your weekly view if you want, okay? Or if you wanted to keep it in your other section that we made up front, you could do that as well. I would probably put it in my actual weekly view so that it's right there and I can see what we're gonna eat for dinner every week. Um, again, if you laminated it, you could then pop it into different weeks as you go. But super easy, super fast idea. And um, that was really easy and super, super functional. So if anyone, did anyone have any questions about this page, Deanna, before I go to the third page? Uh, yes, there are questions. There are questions. Um... <laughs> Love to know where Heather gets her inspiration from. Who is her favorite planner to watch on YouTube? You know, I, it's funny because I have a YouTube channel, but I don't actually watch a lot of YouTube videos, probably because I, I put out a video a day. That's a lot of content. So I spend more time making my videos than I do watching other videos. I actually get a lot of my inspiration from sticker books. Um, the Happy Planner has hundreds of sticker books and I know that if I only use them in my weekly spreads I would never use them all and so I like to flip through their sticker books and just ask myself like how can I make an extra page using the stickers in this book and so flipping through these recipe books I'll see stickers like the weekly menu and I'll be like how could I make this um, on a separate page instead of in my weekly pages so honestly this flipping through sticker books is where I get a lot of my inspiration Okay, that's a great answer and an interest, uh, you know, it's very interesting that, that that's the way you think of it. It's cool that the stickers inspire you like that. Um, how do you store and organize all your stickers so that you know what you have? Because I, I have um, a big basket next to me, but I also have some of the sticker storage boxes that the Happy Planners come out with. And so like in the sticker storage boxes, there's one where I keep all my flower stickers because I, like I said earlier, I love floral stickers. Um, but then the other ones I kind of sort by simil similarity. So like I keep all my seasonal stickers together. I keep all my budget stickers together. I keep all of my teacher stickers together. Um, I keep all of my faith stickers together. So, so I try to sort them by what they have in common. Okay. If you make a mistake while writing in your planner during the week, what do you do to fix it? Um, so you kind of have three options. One is using whiteout. I don't use it a lot because it's kind of obvious when you use whiteout. 
but that is an option. Option two is to just cross it out and be okay with your planner being messy. I like my planner to be pretty, but I also like it to be practical. And so it, sometimes it is practical to just cross something out and be okay with it. It's a planner, it's supposed to be used. So it's okay if it's not perfect. And then your third option is to cover your mess up with a sticker. And so a lot of times I'll, if I write something, if I spell something wrong, or if I write something and then that gets canceled, I'll just cover it with a sticker. Um, and then I'll put like a colorful box sticker on top so that I still have a place to write. Yeah, that was what I was going to say. I found those colorful boxes very helpful when I've made mistakes. Yes. Um, uh, let's see. Do you write like all the time or just on special occasions in your sticker book? Do I write in my sticker book? Is that what you asked? No. Or on my stickers. I guess I didn't understand that question very well. Do you write, I think shoot, they meant in your planner. Do you write in your planner all the time or just on special occasions? But I think you're a planner that- I write, all the time. I use my planner every single day. So yeah. every single day I am writing something in my planner. Um, on your tracking pages, the question, I think this goes back to the one you did before. If you've tracked something for a week or a month, do you keep that page in your planner or do you just take it out, take it out and get rid of it? It's kind of, it's kind of up to you. Um, I usually keep them in my planner for a couple of weeks. If it's something that I want to track for a long time, then I might keep it for longer. Like for example, um, this is my reading list and I want to, I want to keep track of what I've read this year. So like, this is what I read. I read a lot. If you can't tell, like I read five books a month. And so these are my books that I read from January to April. I'm going to keep this in my planner because I want to remember what I read this year. Um, but it kind of just depends. Sometimes if I find that I made a tracker and I'm not actually using it and it's just taking up space in my planner, I would take it out. I, I rarely throw them away because I might use it at some point. So I usually, I have a notebook on my shelf that I keep all of my extra pages in. Um, mm -hmm. But if you make a page and you're not using it, you can either throw it away or save it for something else. Or if you use a page and you fill it up, it, it kind of depends on you. And if you want to go back um, and see what you tracked, or if you don't care, then you can throw it out. But if you want to keep it for reference, that's kind of a personal, I feel like a lot of questions like this are very personal to you and how you plan. So like, some people might be like, I have no desire to look back at what I've tracked. I'm going to throw it out. That's a waste of space. But some people might be like, I really want to see what I've tracked and how far I've come. So it's really a personal decision you have to make for yourself. Okay. Now that you showed that book tracking, how you were reading, you were keeping track of your books, what books you were reading. There's question, is that a book page that you made yourself or was that something that was that page that page came in the happy planners digital detox companion pack mm. that came out oh my goodness december i mean it's, yeah. it's a, you might not be able to find that so sorry to tease you with it but yeah. i was just trying to show an example of something yeah. that i might keep yeah but right. it would also be fairly easy to draw a similar one if you're a doodler because it's, you know, books on mm -hmm. a shelf. So Yeah, reading became a very popular thing in the, that earlier part of this year when we had the reader, the reading uh, planners that came out about the books and everything. The yes. Book, bookish planners, yeah, because there's a customer here asking about the expansion. Uh, is there an expansion pack about reading? So I'll, I'll make a note of that for the team. And we'll maybe yeah, we so find that page. Okay. I think that awesome. that's a good bit of questions there. We can, okay, we can I move can on to the next page that I'm going to make. So okay. I am really passionate about using my planner for budgeting. Um, my husband and I started using my happy planner to budget in 2016, I think. And we have paid off thousands of dollars of debt just by um, being able to track the money coming in, the money coming out, and really setting a budget for ourselves. So I highly, I'm not a budget pro, but I am very pro using your planner to budget. And so our next page, we are going to be talking about making a fall budget page. 
Um, and we're going to be using the new fall sticker book that is part of the fall release. And we're going to be using this budget sticker book that came out a couple of months ago. If your local store sold out of this one, this one is on the Happy Planner. I mean, Michael's website, michaels.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and this one will be in Michael's in the fall reset. So this one I'm going to kind of be using to decorate with, like to make it look folly. And I'm going to be using this budget book to make a weekly spending page for October in my planner. So I'm not, I am going to end up trimming this page to make it smaller, but I don't want to trim it until I've placed the stickers because I want to be sure that my stickers line up right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I think there's a sticker in here that says like it's fall y'all or fall fun. Um, but I want like a big quote sticker like that to, this is actually kind of funny. Creep it real, keep it real with your budget. Uh, actually, this is good. This one says October. So I'm going to take this October sticker and I'm, oop, I'm going to lay it at the top. Now I'm purposely not centering this in the center of the page. Cause like I said, I'm going to end up cutting this. So I'm kind trying to kind of center it based on the cuts. And then I'm going to flip back to these leaves that were at the beginning because I'm going to use these kind of to help decorate the page. So I'm going to leave this one here because that's probably, that's going to be about where I cut the page. Um, and then I might put another one kind of up here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, this is gonna be a page that I'm making for my planner to track my weekly spending. So there's gonna be four that I'm gonna lay down, one for each week. And I'm gonna try and choose colors from this budget book that kind of coordinate with the colors from the fall book. Okay, and so then I could put this one here. And then this purple one will help tie in the purple from October up there. And this one is going to cover up some of that leaf, but I had that in mind when I laid it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna just grab my paper trimmer. Again, you don't have to trim it. You could have made it spaced out, but I like to trim mine when I don't need the whole space. Okay, and so then I could go in here and I could write the dates for October above each one. I need to pull out a planner so that I can see how the October dates line up. Um, so this could be October 5th through the 11th. This will be the 12th through the 18th. This will be the 19th through the 25th. And this will be the 26th through the 1st. Now, tracking your weekly spending, like it might not be super fun, but because you, you know, when you track your weekly spending, you're realizing how much money you actually spend, which isn't always fun to realize, but it will help with your budget and it will it also whenever I do make a tracker like this I don't do this every month but there's certain months where um you know you may want to save more money so like in October I try not to maybe spend as much money because then I can save money for the holiday season but um where are my scissors there's no telling there they are um if you have a month where you're wanting to track your spending and I'm not saying you have to do a no spend but Whenever I track my spending like this, I am more thoughtful to before I spend my money because I'm, I know I'm going to have to write it down. But like each day you could just tally up how much you spent that day. And it can be really eye opening because things like shopping on Amazon or going to Starbucks like that can add up really fast. And so just tracking your spending on an extra page like this is really helpful um, just to know where your money's going. And then I like to use, like I said earlier, I like to, my planner to be pretty and practical. And so 
Um, I like to use these little stickers just to help make it a little bit more decorative and kind of give it a fall vibe. And I do, you might have noticed a second ago um, that I trim the stickers off the side of the page just to kind of make it look like, you know, it's bleeding off. I really like that look. But then this is just a simple weekly spending page. Now, if you go through the budget book, we talked earlier about how I really like to let sticker books inspire what I'm doing. So maybe you don't want to track your weekly spending, but you like the idea of having an extra budget page for your planner. So you could go in here through the sticker book and just flip through and kind of let it inspire you. So like maybe instead of doing weekly spending, you could do these bill, pay, bill due stickers and you could put bill due stickers on this page for October and have all of your bills that are due on one page. And then you track the bills and you check them off um, as you pay them each month. Or maybe you do want to track your spending, but you don't want to do it by day. And so you could use these, like maybe you're someone who's like, Ooh, I might spend a lot of money at, Starbucks and not realize it. So maybe you use these stickers that say coffee run and you track for a week how much you're spending on coffee and you put it in a section on here. Or these say eating out. My family, we eat out way too much. And so the, these eating out stickers I could put on here and track my eating out. So if you didn't want to use day by day, because I know some people might not want to track what they spend every single day, you could just use these to help you track what it is that you want to track. And it could even be that instead of doing weekly spending, you just put eating out right here. And then you can use that whole box to track how much you spent that week eating out. So maybe you don't wanna track all of your weekly spending. Maybe you wanna track how much I spent eating out this week. And you put that eating out sticker here, and then you can put the total in this box. Or maybe you wanna track um, your coffee run. And so you could grab the coffee sticker, and again, cover up where it says weekly spending, track each day how much money you spent at Starbucks and then put your total for the week. And it would be really eye-opening to realize how much you're spending. And so I like to use these stickers um, to kind of inspire me to use these differently. Because again, you might be someone who doesn't want to track your weekly spending like total, but maybe you just want to break it down smaller. You could use those to cover up those um, boxes and then track what it is that you really need to track it could also be like entertainment maybe if, you know probably right now with covid we're not spending a lot of money on entertainment but i know my husband and i we used to go to the movies all the time and out to eat all the time and so you could use that to help track your entertainment spending which is also really good if you're trying to actually set a budget and stick to it like maybe you have you've given yourself a 50 dollars a month budget for coffee this would really help you you can make this just for your coffee and you can say, okay, I have $50. I'm going to put my coffee stickers on each week and I'm going to track how much I spent each week on coffee on this one page. So th that's just a few ideas. Like I feel like I could do a whole class just on budgeting ideas and we're just trying to make one page, but I just want to give you some ideas on how to flip through these books and let them inspire you on how to make these extra pages and on stickers that you might not use in your regular planner. Like I wouldn't put those coffee run stickers on my weekly page, but putting them on an extra page um, would be really helpful. So again, you could then take this page and in your planner, you could, if you wanted to, you could put it in your weekly spread so that you see it and you're constantly filling it out. Sometimes when you're making a page like this, where you need to be actively filling it out, it is more helpful to put it in your weekly spread where you're going to see it every day because sometimes if you put stuff in your other section you maybe don't see it every single day um but you just have to decide where to put it based on your planning needs so if you're someone who's like if it's in another section i'm never going to see it um then you might want to put it in your weekly section instead of in the other section so that is the budget page if there's any questions specifically about that you can give can them you to lift, Heather, can you lift that page up a little closer to the camera so they can see it? This one? Yes, it was, it's a little blurry when it was down yes. on your desk. So they wanted to see it a little closer. Okay. All right. And then the front cover of that sticker book. The budget book? Yes. So the Happy Planner has come out with a few budget books. This is their most... Well, it's not their most recent, I guess, but this is the one that mm -hmm. came out 
I think it came out like in December or January and it is on the michaels.com. If you go to michaels.com and you just search the happy planner budget, this one will pop up and you can order it on their website. Yes, there's always new, um, there are always new budgeting tools coming out. We have envelopes and sticker books and planners and we have undated and dated planners because some people wanted to start budgeting in the, at various times. So we always have budgeting tools that we do release on a regular basis. It's a very Yeah, and if way. you're, if you're interested in budgeting, again, I'm not a budget pro. I've, I've come up with things that work for me and my family, but, um, plan with Elise is an is on Instagram and she does a lot of content about budgeting so if you want to learn more about budgeting I would check her out and you could also check out Jen plans she also does a lot with budgeting as well okay thank you for that feedback that's excellent news the skew for that budget sticker book I'm going to put it in the Q&A box as well is 106153 because it was not on the shopping list that came out before the yes. class. Yes, this one was not on the shopping list and neither was the recipe book because I added these kind of later because I really wanted to be able to show y'all how to make adulting pages and not just decorative pages, um, but they are both on the Michaels website. So you can search right. Happy Planner Recipe or Happy Planner Budget or the SKU number and it should pull up. Right, they are absolutely there all right i gotta check our time it, it looks is, like if i do this next one fast we might be able to get all four in because this one won't be super long okay okay so the last page we're gonna make i am using the live creatively sticker book um this is part of stephanie's line with michael's that around her new book um so this one is already at michael's it is called live creatively I don't know if this was on the shopping list either. I might have added it last minute, but uh, it is at your Michael store because it just came out like two weeks ago. So you should be able to find this in your local store. It's on an end cap with the rest of Stephanie's products from her book launch. So this book, um, I really thought it would be nice to make an appointment tracker for your planner because I don't know about you guys, but it can be hard to keep up with all of your appointments. And I personally, don't write in my planner until a week or two before that week. So like if I plan an appointment for mid-October, I'm not writing in my planner yet for mid-October. I like to write that week. I don't like to write in advance because things might change, but I still need to track my appointments somewhere. And so if you're like me and you don't want to put the appointment in your weekly planner yet, um, you can make an appointment page for your planner and you can list all your appointment stickers and um, then when it's time for that week each week you can refer to your appointment page and fill in your appointments for that week so it's a really great way to do to track appointments if you're someone who doesn't want to have an extra or you don't want to write in advance in your planner so here let's see I'm like trying to decide what marker to use Okay, I'm just going to use, this is another Tombow Foodie. Again, if you go to the Michaels pen aisle, they sell these in um, a colorful pack. And I'm just going to write the word appointments. You could also um, get the alphabet sticker book and use the letters if you don't want to write it. If you're someone who maybe you don't like your lettering or you want it to look more uniform, you could totally use the alphabet sticker book, but that would take me longer to line up all of those stickers and we don't have a lot of time left. So again, this appointment page, I am going to trim it to be the same width as what I just lettered, but you could, if you're someone who has a ton of appointments and you need the full page, you can totally keep it a full page. I personally don't have a ton of appointments, so I just need a little page, but then you could literally just take these. And if you're someone who needs a lot of appointments, you could line them up side by side. I don't need, like I said, a ton of appointments to track, but you could just take them and line them up down the page in a row. And then you keep this in your planner in your other section, track 
carry this, take your planner with you when you go or when you're making phone calls to make appointments or when you go to the doctor. And then each week when you're filling out your planner, just make it part of your habit to flip to your appointment page to check if you have any appointments. This works really well for me. A lot of people do this, would track their appointments also in their monthly view. If you're someone who doesn't want to write it in your weekly view in advance, which works, but I actually use my monthly view for budgeting. It's where I track our, the money in and out of our, for our family. And so I don't track appointments on my monthly view, but that is a place you could do it if you don't want to make an extra page. But for me, I really like having this extra page. Now, again, we've talked a little bit about laminating pages. Uh, you could laminate this and then anytime an appointment is over, you can wipe it and have a new spot to put a new appointment. And that's literally like, if you just want it to be functional, you just put those appointment stickers down. If you wanted it to be cutesy, you could grab, you know, another book, like maybe this All the Fills book. It's got some good colors and you could add in, I think there were some rainbow stickers in here. You could add in some cute stickers to make it a little prettier too. So maybe like a rainbow here. And maybe a rainbow over here. I don't know. Just you could add in decor. I personally would probably put flowers because like I mentioned earlier, I love florals. Um, I actually don't like that this rainbow is over that box. So you could use an X-Acto knife. They have these at Michael's too on the cutting aisle. And then if you cut it, it looks like the rainbow is under the box, even though it's not. That's just a quick little trick. And it looks like you layered the sticker, even though you didn't. Well, that said, it's not coming up. Okay, so that's just a super easy thing. And then you can grab your planner and you could put it here if you wanted, but I would keep this in my other section in my planner. Okay. This is also good if maybe like, I don't know about you guys, but when COVID started, I had a lot of appointments get canceled and maybe I haven't taken the time to reschedule all of them. So what you could also write the name of all of the appointments that you need to reschedule and just go ahead and write it in here and then use this as like a reminder to call each place and set a new appointment. And then when you have the new time and date, you can fill it in. So that is the appointment page. So were there any questions about this one? Yes, we have, we have a, a question that has come up a few times and I neglected to ask it. Um, would you please tell everyone what type of dry erase uh, marker you like to use when you build these laminated pages? Yeah, so when you laminate a page for your planner, um, you don't wanna use dry erase. Don't use dry erase, because if you use dry erase, it will rub off on the other pages in your planner. So you wanna use a wet erase marker. Um, I personally use this brand. Stadler. I know Michaels has this brand. I don't know if they have the dry erase ones. Mm -hmm. um, and this is like a fine tip one that I use. So it writes really small. Um, but you want to use wet erase because if you use wet erase, it's not going to come off unless you have like a wet rag and you wipe it off. And so it's not going to smear on your planner pages. But if you use dry erase, it could smear off onto your other planner pages. Um, and I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel that kind of goes over how to laminate stuff. So um, if you're interested in that idea, um, you can head, I'm Kel of a Plan on YouTube and I have a playlist all about it. Okay. And there's, you know, I'm gonna just reiterate that the type of pen that she used earlier was the Tombow Foodie. And mm -hmm. it's F-U-D-E-N-O-S-U-K-E. -E, and those are available at Michael's. I, I, tried to look up the Stadler dry, wet erase, but I've not. I know that Michaels has this brand in like their regular pens, mm -hmm. um, which are also really great pens if you're just looking for a fine tip pen for your planner, but I don't know if they have the wet erase ones at Michaels. Yeah. I'm not positive on that. Yeah, I'm not able to locate that one online this quick, but um, it might be under a different 
you know, way of looking it up than what I'm typing in. Um, would you please show all of the pages that you've created this afternoon at one time, you know, like lay them yes. out so everybody can see them again. Yes. So I'm going to move this one. Okay. So we did this um, weekly menu tracker. We used the recipe book and the minimalist book for this one. Okay. The next one we did was the appointment page, which we used the Live Creatively sticker book to get these appointment stickers. Super easy concept. You literally just put those down on a page, but a great way to track future appointments. We made the budget page to track weekly spending, but we also talked about how you could cover up the weekly spending and focus on um, like a specific part of your budget, like coffee or shopping or eating out to help you track your spending. And then the leaves on that are from the new fall sticker book. And then this is the self care tracker we made. And this one used the all the fills sticker book. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's all four of them. Okay, I am checking the questions. There's a lot of questions about lamination and laminating sheets, but you said you have a YouTube video about laminating on your YouTube? I have, I actually have um, a whole playlist and it actually ties in really well to this class because what the playlist is, is it's me making extra pages for my planner, um, but I laminate them so that I can use them over and over again. So if you enjoyed seeing these extra pages, using that I made using happy planner stickers if you go to that playlist there's I mean there's probably 12 to 15 videos and in each video I'm making a different extra page for my planner and I'm laminating it so if this class like if you're interested in this class and you feel like lots of ideas are being sparked I would suggest your next step should be to go to that playlist and check it out because I have tons more ideas for extra pages you can make and I personally laminate them just because I can use them again and again and again, but you don't have to laminate them. Um, I know Michael sells the Scotch laminator. So if you're looking for a good laminator, I would check that brand out. It's a really good brand. Um, and it's just a great way to get to make To use all these extra stickers. Like there's just so many stickers that you're never going to put them all in your weekly planner, but making extra pages like this helps you to use them. It's a great idea. I had, I learned so much today. I'm intrigued and I'm going to go make some adulting pages myself. Yeah. Okay. Exciting. Can we flip the camera back to my face? There you go. There we go. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this class. I hope you got some ideas. Even if these pages weren't something that you would make, I hope you're at least feeling inspired to grab your sticker books. Let your stickers inspire you. Let your stickers inspire the pages that you make. Just grab a sticker book, flip through it, and ask yourself, how can I use these stickers to make a page to help me track something in my life? Um, so I hope you feel inspired from this class. Um, again, if you didn't get to watch this whole class, it will be available on michaels.com on Tuesday for you to watch. Don't forget, we have um, more planner classes coming up on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Nita from Neatly Plan will be teaching one. Christine from Twinkle Plans Her Day will be teaching one. And Marielle from Mom and a Girl with Plans will also be teaching one. Those are on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th at noon central. If you're not able to catch them, you, they will also have replays posted a couple of days later. You can go to michaels.com slash classes to sign up for those. Um, if you want to see more about how I use my planner, I am tell of a plan on both Instagram and YouTube. So you can check me out there to see more about my ideas on how to use a planner um, in pretty but practical ways. Um, and don't forget a lot of these items I use today are part of the fall reset at Michael's. That goal date for those is uh, Friday the 18th, September 18th. So your local stores should have these in store around that date. Some might be a couple days before, some might be a couple days after, but the goal is the 18th. So be sure to check out your local stores then, and they will also be on the website, uh, the Michaels website. So I think that is everything I have. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun and happy planning. Bye guys. Thank you, Heather.